Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Scylla Black! to another moment of truth the show where we offer families one chance and one chance only to win what they've always wanted from my dream directory of fantastic prizes now on tonight's show we'll be going north of the border to visit three fabulous families from glasgow oh, yes. <laughs> first, of all, first of all we're off to meet the simpson family now they all knew what they'd chosen when they looked at my dream directory what they didn't know was that I was about to offer them the chance to face the moment of truth. Hello, Jody. <laughs> Hello. Can I come in? No. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't say that. Is that. Is that? Who is that? Is that? That's Anne. Is that our Anne? Well, and where that, is everybody? That's Jody. That's Jody. And you're Jo. And you're a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Anne Marie? Who's, which one are you? Liam. Graham, hi Graham. Oh, and this this young Joseph. Jacob. Oh, Jacob is not lovely. Is he? Oh, Anne Marie. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Anne Marie, Jody, our Jo. Come over here, Anne. Now we're one missing. Where's where is he? Where's Graham? Graham. Hey, Graham. Hey, Graham. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> We've all chosen some fab prizes from my dream directory. I think yeah. I'd better show everybody at home exactly what you chose. <laughs> Anne seems to spend her life walking everywhere, so a five-door hatchback should take the weight off her feet. Joe fancies himself as the next Steven Spielberg, so this state-of-the-art camcorder and editing station should put him in the picture. Anne-Marie hopes to be watching Dad's newest blockbusters with this TV and video. Graham wants to impress his friends with his very own TV, video, hi-fi and computer game system. Jody wants to be the swashbuckling king of the castle with this toy fort and pirate ship. Well, those be your terrific prizes. What is your terrifying task, though? Have a look at this. And his scintillating cigar boxes. Look at that. And who's going to do the task? Why, I'm looking at you, Anne. Yes, you're going to be doing it. <laughs> and while you're getting over the shop, I'm going to explain the rules of your task. Anne's task is to juggle three numbered cigar boxes to change the configuration from one, two, three to three, two, one, and back again. Once she has completed this sequence of six throws, she must finish by catching the boxes between her legs and then return them to their original position. It's not as easy as one, two, three, so let's hope Anne's number's not up tonight. Well, those are the rules, Anne. So I think it's about time you had a little bit of a go. Go on, off you go. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm sorry, Anne. I'm so sorry. Well, we won't be handing out any cigars tonight, will we? I tell you what, Anne. We'll give you a week to practice that, all right? Not a month. <laughs> Not a month, a week. And next week I shall see you all in the Moment of Truth studio. In the meantime. In the meantime. Ta-ra, everyone. Ta-ra. Ta -ra. Ta -ra. Ta -ra. <laughs> But now they're here. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Simpson family. Come on, the Simpsons! <laughs> Well, and 
has it has it been an exciting week? Oh, very exciting, yes. Well, I think we'd better see for ourselves. Have a look at this. Well, today I've been practising running up and down stairs and I've been out in my job. I've been running up to get the thighs going there. So we'll just practice the up and down and see. <laughs> I think I'm... Oh! Right, I've got to go straight. Or what was it you were telling me about my breathing, right? Take a deep breath before you do it. Take a deep breath and breathe. hold my breath. Well, don't breathe while I'm doing the action, right? I've written this old picture, I tell you. Oh, I'm going to. I think I've got the right hand before the right hand going. So if I can just practice that tonight and make sure I have mastered it. Tomorrow I'll go into the working on the the left hand and maybe the day after that I'll work on the sequence and I think if I can get that you know all coordinated I think I'm halfway there. By the second day Anne felt she needed to find a way to firm up her leg muscles. And that's where Anne's going to run up and down. <laughs> and you're only halfway. <sighs> reached the top, the only way for Anne was down. I'm going to end up cheating. I'm taking the easy way down. <laughs> 20 past 11 at night. Here we are, trying to keep Anne fit. Build up her strength, build up her energy. <laughs> Far too technical, Anne. It's halfway through my week now. I don't think my mum's doing very good because she's quite lazy <laughs> and she's bad at it. She doesn't do it at all. Smile at the camera. Else, well, Silla, it's got its advantages being the chosen one. For a while, I was beginning to say I could see these cigar boxes far enough, but at times like this, when the family are doing all the housework, and I'm soaking in a nice hot bath to relax my muscles, I think it's wonderful. When we first got set our task. I'd resign myself to the fact that my mum wasn't going to be able to do it. But as the practising's been going on, as the days have been going on, I'm starting to get a little bit more faith in her. Yay! Don't put me off. Yo! Yo! Smell the camera, smell the camera. You're cheating. <laughs> cheat, cheat. You're getting excited then. That reminds me of the time that I won the do Donkey Derby in Great Yarmouth because you'd been dangling the carrot in front of his nose. <laughs> I know, and I was winning. I was all happy because I'd won. My mother got me disqualified. <laughs> the past days have been really shattering. But I know I can do the sequence. I've done it a couple of times, but will I be able to do it on the night? You know you can do it, you've done it many times, and that last shot there, you did it. How are you feeling now? Not too bad. <laughs> I must say you look great in that bath. Didn't she look great in the bath there with the, the taps as the earrings? <laughs> I 
and you're looking very good tonight because, you know, um, you've trained like a gladiator. What did you do? What did Joe make you do through the week? Well, he's had me running up and down the stairs and, as I say, skipping and doing the wrist actions. Yes. It made me lose half a stone. Half a stone. <laughs> well, she looks well on it, doesn't she, gang? Yes. yes. Do, I mean, that is your hobby, isn't that? You love videoing, don't yeah. you? Uh -huh. I really enjoy it. So, how, how, what do you think of your budding star here? Your terrible to work with. Absolutely terrible terrible to, work. to work with, yeah. The only time I really enjoyed it was when I had to end up doing the bath scene. Oh, <laughs> well, you won't go into that, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Jody, Jody Chuck. Oh, you. Well, we got you captured there on camera, didn't we? And when yeah. you, what did you say about your mum? You said, well, she's not really very good, didn't you? Yeah. Because she's, she's lazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you really believe that? I'll, yeah, I'll kill you something. Right. Uh, some <laughs> days, she's, she's, instead of working and doing the, the task, she's always in her bedroom, lying down, taking her sleep, <laughs> reading magazines. <laughs> so, Jodie, do you think she hasn't practised enough or what? Um... I don't think she's practised enough, but let's see how she does it. Oh, right. <laughs> OK, you can't say it further. You can't say it further than that. <laughs> well, you've chosen some fabulous prizes from the Dream Directory, haven't you? Yes. Yes. I think, you, I think it's about time you should see them all in the flesh. So hold on tight, everyone. Here are your prizes if your mum wins tonight. How are you feeling, Chuck? Nervous. <laughs> well, your prizes are all there and all your supporters are out there. Where are you, gang? <laughs> now, come on, everyone. Any last words of advice for our Anne here? Yep. Keep the action, Anne. Up and down. <laughs> well, just do it. Ah. <laughs> Well, now it's time to stop all the talking because we've got to do some walking. Don't worry, it's time to face your moment of truth. Come on. Will Anne do it? Find out after the break. Hang on, Tom. I must tell everybody that the great offers end Sunday at DFS. Like this sofa with removable and washable covers for just, I know Tom, just $5.99. And I know what you're going to say, Tom. There's four years free credit and everything's free for the first year on whatever you choose. Am I right, Tom? Tom? Oh. No nonsense offers from DFS. But hurry, this great combination offer ends Sunday, 5 p.m. Belle and the Beast are back. By popular demand, Disney's feature-length movie, Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas Returns. This magical tale is a treat of festive fun for all the family, and it's yours to own on video. Hurry, don't miss the beauty and enchantment this Christmas. It's the most sensational royal book ever published, and you can read extracts only in the mail on Sunday. Part two of Charles, the Prince's Story reveals why Charles wears Diana's wedding ring to this day, exactly what attracts him so deeply to Camilla, how his own family blame him for the failure of his marriage. Charles, the Prince's Story, only in the mail on Sunday tomorrow. You're careful about everything you put on your skin, but have you forgotten the last part of your skincare regime? Yet it goes on your skin every day. It's your clothes. Introducing Comfort Pure. It's now hypoallergenic. With a new delicate freshness to care for the clothes that go on even the most delicate skin. After all, shouldn't your clothes be as kind to your skin as you are? 
Comfort Pure, skincare you wear. Clover has an unbeatable taste because it's churned with fresh dairy ingredients, so... PG's not cheap. Oh, they just cost less than other leading brands. Cheap indeed. So why is Jim having a bypass? one of the rules. Now, Anne must juggle her numbered cigar boxes in a pre-arranged sequence of eight throws. Now, every time she has successfully completed a throw, she will hear this noise. If she drops a box or fails to catch it with the numbered side facing the front, then I'm afraid she loses. Now, I know you understand all the rules, yeah. don't you, Anne? Yes. All I right, well, so take well. your Thank time. You. Get yourself ready. And ladies and gentlemen, please wish them all the very best because, you know, this is the Simpson family's moment of truth. Are you happy, Anne? Yeah. Okay, in your own time, please start. disappointing children in our show so I tell you what I hear that you're a big fan of children's ITV is that right mm -hmm. oh well I've got a special prize for you you are going to spend the whole day at the studios with them yes children's ITV I'm here a day at children's ITV and just to get you in the mood you've got the cap you've got the t-shirt and you've got your signed autograph knowing you you'll take over the show Well, no luck there for the Simpsons. But now it's time to see what happened when we visited the Kelly family with news of the moment of truth. Hello. Is your name Jennifer? Yeah. Can I come in, Jennifer, please? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me where your mum and dad is? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> 
Is that Brenda? I'm Brenda. Hi. Nice to meet you. This Greg. must be Greg. Hi, Greg. Hello. And I've met Jennifer already. Oh, And right. I'll... <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello, big David. Come oh. over. Oh. <laughs> oh, and this is our... Oh, yes. This is we, David. Come over here. Well, now that we're all together, can Thanks. we have a big family get oh, together? Yes, well, you've all chosen, I have to say, fabulous prizes from my dream directory. Yes. So I think I'd better show everybody at home Thank exactly you. what you chose. Brenda reckons the sun has forgotten Scotland, so she wants to take the whole family for a two-week villa holiday to the Canaries with £2,000 spending money to buy the sun cream. David has a problem. His feet stick out of the bottom of his bed, so this king-size version should provide the answer. Young David's taste in music is not shared by the rest of the family, so his own hi-fi system is certainly a sound choice. Budding author Greg needs somewhere to compose his masterpieces, so a computer and a printer will help him turn over a new leaf. And Jennifer loves to shop, so a £1,200 shopping spree in a top London store will be a dream come true. Well, you've seen all the fabulous prizes in my dream directory. Yep. The only thing left is who's going to be performing the task to win all those prizes. I am looking for somebody who's well balanced and light on the feet. <laughs> light on the feet. In fact, somebody who can fit into these lovely dainty ballet shoes. Yes. Please. Yes. Who takes a size eight? <laughs> you do. Well, you're the one for the task. Yes, these are your ballet shoes. And I'm gonna yes, and I'm gonna take you down to the bottom of your garden now, and I shall reveal all. Come on, gang, follow me. Come on. All right, David. Now this is Cosmo, the fantastic Cosmo. Cosmo. We're not is not so high wire. Well, take it away, Cosmo. Have a look at this. Watch carefully. Watch, gang. We <laughs> get that. Practicing that for 14 years. That's what I do a week. Oh. Don't do it. Don't do it. You have no chance. <laughs> <laughs> See that thick bit there? I'd be lucky to manage that. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Well done. Thank you. Where are your shoes? And while you're putting them on, I'm going to explain the rules of your task. <laughs> David's task is to walk a 10-foot tightrope twice, first forwards and then backwards. On each journey, he must stop halfway and remain balanced on one foot for five seconds. It's a fine line between success and failure, but let's hope David's walking on air by the end of the night. But don't worry just yet, because you've got a whole week to practice all that. I'll need that. And I'm confident you will be a Kelly's hero by the end of it. I <laughs> shall <laughs> see you all in the Moment of Truth studios. Good luck, right. Chuck. Good luck, bye everyone. Ta-ra, then. Ta-ra. Ta well, that was last week, but now they're here. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Kelly family. How's your week been, Chuck? Yeah. Very yeah, balanced yeah, Very balanced week, yes. <laughs> I, think we should, I think we should find out for ourselves, shouldn't we? Yes, I'm let's have a look at your video diary. <laughs> now, this is the first day, and Wayne's a brilliant, but it is incredibly sore on your feet. <laughs> right, hold it, Jennifer. Oh, so ah, it's sore. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to try practice walking in a straight line before we go on the metal bit. It seems easier on the toes. 
This is, this is just as hard as ever, except it's no sassor on the feet. This is Gale Force One. <laughs> No, I want the big toe. I want the big toe right there. No, I want the... Right. I want the big toe right between. Right, OK. Right, uh, hey, but... Right, concentrate then. Now for the ba hard but backwards. Oh. Ah, I missed. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> the reason I'm not practising on string anymore is because I can't feel it. And on this wire, I can feel the pain. I can feel it burning through my feet. And... <laughs> Once I've overcome that, I'll be able to do it. Hopefully. <laughs> right. At this moment, I have no idea what he's doing. <laughs> he's going to try to be held up by two children. Thanks very much, Cos. Bye. Well, apparently I've been doing it all wrong. I've been softening up my feet and bathing it every night. And Cos has just told me, walk about in bare feet as much as possible and don't wash them. <laughs> yeah, it's just been to the shops and my feet are definitely getting tougher. As from today, David is not going to wash his feet at all whether the family can stand up. Time will tell, time will tell. <laughs> because the idea of a man walking about with dirty feet for days and days is beyond me. But we'll go with it, that's the instructions we've got. We'll go with it. <laughs> this is my mum, my sister, who have came up to offer David some advice. And boy, does he need every bit of help he can get. <laughs> Come on, Davy, on you go! He's wonderful. I wouldn't have sore feet for all the money in China. <laughs> he's talking about it in his sleep. That's how you get him. Even when he's sleeping, he's going, like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. <laughs> I give him a couple of tablets. I give him a couple of tablets. I've talked to him for sleeping tablets. Maybe he thinks he's broke his toe. Because he fell off this morning. He's lucky he didn't oh. break his neck. No. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Hey, so do you not know want to be with me on the night? David, I will be there on the night. Just pretend my pinky is right beside you. Right? Yeah. Just think a pinky, think a pinky. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Well done, David. Very, very good. They're getting stronger every single day. My main problem has been my balance. After two days, I thought I would have got it. That's so almost left frustrated, but I'm getting there. And on the night, I'll do it, I think. I hope. <laughs> Confidence for you. On the night, I will do it. But then you wavered a little bit and said, well, I think, I think. I mean, it was a tough old week. By the way, have you washed your feet? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet, but... Oh, dear. <laughs> Brenda, you gave them all the help you could with your pinky. Yeah. Think pinky, you said. Think pinky, pinky purr. May the pinky be with you. <laughs> 
<laughs> but you haven't got a pinky tonight, no, have no. you, David? Unfortunately. But it's here, David. <laughs> but you're, you've all got, I mean, you, you think, you've got confidence in your dad, haven't you? Of course yes. you have. Yeah. Yes. I mean, just yeah. think of those fabulous it's prizes. Just the ability I need. <laughs> <laughs> confidence, you'll have the ability, especially when you see the prizes, because you've chosen all the beautiful prizes, but you haven't seen them in real life, have you? No, no. Well, hold on tight, because here they are. and there are your supporters out there. Where are you going? Yeah. Oh, Wish you well. Yeah. Well, we're almost there, David. All right. Any last words of advice for old dad here? Come on, Brenda. Thank pinky you. force. Think mm -hmm. pinky. Pinky. Oh, yeah, well. yep. Straight across. Pink. Yes, may the pink be with you. All right. Just focus and concentrate and you do it. Do you want Jennifer? Oh, big oh, old guy. Oh, oh, and Greg as well. <laughs> I'll get a computer for you, Paul. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to stop the talking because we've got to do some walking as I take you across to face your moment of oh, truth. Okay. Will David do it? Find out after the break. <laughs> Nice view you got up here, innit? But just stay calm, all right? Don't worry about things. Okay, it's in place. Okay. We have got entertainment, movies, sport. What have you got here? We've got documentaries. I told you, be all right. Chin up. It's a beautiful world out there, you know? It's easy to find what you want to watch with Sky Digital's unique on screen listings guide. Oh, yeah, Princess Diana is under fire. Now the Sunday Mirror reveals the true story she wanted the world to know. For years, Simone Simmons was one of Diana's closest confidants. Day after day, Diana poured out her heart about her innermost feelings. She asked me to tell it like it is, and I'm keeping that promise now. Diana, The Secret Years, only in tomorrow's Sunday Mirror. Index store, you can pick up a lot more than just the latest catalog. There's a superb range of top brands at the lowest possible prices, guaranteed. Index is packed with an amazing range of leisure, electrical, and household goods with up to three months interest free credit. So, why shop anywhere else? Index, the lowest possible prices in catalog shopping, and that's a promise. Bathe in a bathroom like this with growing mold and soap scum? No way. But there's a powerful cleaner that tackles both. Jif Active Cream with Bleach. The bleach activates the cream, making lighter work of the most difficult dirt. Brilliant! Jif Active Cream with Bleach. Available alongside Jif White and Lemon. Right then, here's a new one for you. It's tasty, it's exotic, it's me own faulty curry. I use tomatoes, nice and thick. <laughs> Onions, coriander, lovely fresh taste. And I can't forget me own faulty spices. Aha, uh -huh. that's interesting. Tasty too, mate. Interesting because only Home Pride's new Balti curry sauce makes such an exciting meal. Oh, mm -hmm. rumbled again. Trust Home Pride to make Balti brilliant. Deeply soft, velvety smooth. Experience the touch of new Kleenex Double Velvet. Rich, creamy Horlicks can help you sleep better, feel better, and possibly dream better too. Massive savings for one day only tomorrow at SCS. Save up to 50% with nothing to pay for one whole year in our £1 million warehouse clearance tomorrow only at SCS.
David must walk this tightrope twice. The first time he must walk forwards and include a five second stop on one leg. He must then walk the wire backwards again, stopping for five seconds on one leg. If David falls off the wire, I'm afraid the task is over. Now, I'm sure you know the rules, don't you? I already? understand the rules, so I, yeah. Oh, all right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, please wish them well because this is the Kelly family's moment of truth. Set yourself <laughs> You're happy, David? Okay. Yeah. In your own time. Deander, because didn't you mention, Jennifer, that you absolutely adore Boyzo? Yes. Oh. And aren't you a big fan of uh, Celtic, is it? Yeah. Oh, well, I've got lovely prizes for you. <laughs> There's a football signed by the whole team. And what have I got for you? I've got some tickets to a Boyzo Own concert. What have I got here? Signed especially by Boyzo Own for you. And all the CDs. There you go. Oh. What bad luck for the Kellys. But now it's time to go back to Glasgow to see what happened when we met the Lockhead family. I can see Barry through the window. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Hello. Mom. How are you doing? Can I come in, look? Certainly, come in. I'm doing very well. Oh, oh thank you very much. Where is it? Oh, Hello. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is How are you, Chuck? All right? Come can I come on. inside, look? Please, what do you want to see you? Who's this lady? Hello. Who's this? Is this Jade? This is Jade and this is Barney. Well, is this a nice surprise of all? I think you better have a family <laughs> get-together. Well, I know you've all seen my lovely dream directory, haven't you? Yep. And you've chosen all your prizes. Yep. Well, let's show everybody at home exactly what prizes you chose. Mark claims that Jackie is always leaving his cars with bumps and scratches, so a brand new four-door saloon will be his pride and joy. Jackie has boasted to her friends that she's been to Disney World, when in fact she hasn't. So a three-day break to Paris with a trip to Disneyland will stop them taking the mickey. Jade loves to sing along to her top tunes, so a new hi-fi and her fave CDs will provide the perfect backing. And Barry wants to live the millionaire's life with his own exclusive use of a chauffeur-driven limousine to take him wherever he wants for two whole days. Well, those are the prizes, but what have you got to do to win those fabulous prizes? I'll give you a few clues. I'm looking for somebody who's quite calm, unflappable, and very patient. Now, what, I mean. am I describing anybody or not? Daddy. It's got to be Daddy. Oh, oh really? Well, it is not your daddy, actually. It's your clumsy mummy, oh! wacky jacky. <laughs> yes, you are going to perform the task. Stand up, everyone. I shall show you. Come on. All right, then. This is not Mystic Meg. This is me. There it is, Jackie. Now, you're looking a bit bewildered. Now, this is a G clef in music. Yes, it is. Yeah. You recognise that, don't uh -huh. you? There are the dominoes. And you're still looking puzzled, aren't you? Uh -huh. Well, you study that, and I'll explain the rules of the task. 
Jackie's task is to make the musical G clef symbol using dominoes. She has five minutes in which to do it, but she must be careful not to set them off accidentally, otherwise she will need to start rebuilding and will lose time. The G clef includes three tricky junctions where the dominoes cross each other. On completing the symbol, Jackie must trigger the domino trail to go down in the correct order as shown here, making every single domino fall. It's a delicate job, but let's hope she's knocking the spots off this task tonight. Quick worker there, Jackie. Oh, God. Oh, Jackie, what a shame. Oh, a domino disaster there, I think. But don't worry, Chuck, because you've got a whole week to practice that, all right? And when it's perfected, I shall see you in the studios next week. See you next week, everybody. Ta ra. Bye. See you, Jack. Bye. <laughs>
And to be honest, right at this moment, it could go either way. If there was a contest on about the, the person that, would, that could talk on the, the phone the longest, she would win it. She's talked so long on the phone and I don't think she's been practising enough. Neither does Barry, do you? Mm. It takes five to six seconds to fall down completely and that will be the longest five or six seconds of my life. Ta-da! Jackie, the worst thing for me would have been losing my old nails there. Was it really awful having your nails done? I've lost my image, Silla. You've lost the image? Completely. Mind you, after tonight, you can put it back, put them yeah, all back. Yeah, stick them on in the morning. And you actually put them on with super glue? Oh, yeah. I go everywhere with super glue in my bag. You do? Just in case I lose one, you know. Now, Mark here, Mark here has been being very tactical, haven't you, about this uh, domino thing? I mean, how do, have you been given any tips? Well, as you saw in the film, we had to concentrate on getting where the dominoes cross over. Yes. Once we got rid of the wobbly bottoms, then, and concentrated on the, the junctions, it was a little, little bit easier. Yeah, so it's the junction she's got to worry about. Yeah. Well, now, you've all seen the fabulous prizes from my dream directory. You're now going to see them close up. <laughs> yes, here they are for the first time. Take a good look. Isn't that wonderful? And take a good look at your supporters out there. Jackie, they're all there. Where are you, gang? Yes. Go, Jackie. Look at that. Don't knock them down, Jackie. One of the banners say, well, Mark, very tense time for our Jackie here. Last words of comfort. Just get the junctions right and hopefully everything will fall into place. Get the junctions right. What about our Jade? Um, just concentrate on the spacings and just... All good advice. Last word from you, our bands. Do it, Mum. <laughs> ah, just do it, Mum. All right, well, the talking's got to stop now because we're going to do some walking, all right, Chuck? Because the time has come to face your moment of truth. Come on, Jackie. You can do it. You can do it. You know you can do it. You've done it before. Okay, let's remind everyone of the rules of this task. Now, Jackie has five minutes to set up her dominoes to make the G-clep symbol as outlined on this board. Now, when the five minutes is up, Jackie must set off the dominoes starting at the centre here. All right? Now, to win the task, every single domino must fall. Not only that, but they must go down in the correct order like this. But you knew all that already, didn't you, Jackie? All yeah. right? Well, good luck, Chuck. Ladies and gentlemen, please wish them all well because this is the Lockhead family's moment of truth. <laughs> all right, love, well, your time starts now.
You've had one minute, Jackie. Yeah. Jade, I know you're big fans of Coronation Street, is that right? Well, you too, and if you can take your family if you feel like, you're going to spend the whole day on Coronation Street, all right? Mm -hmm. And with a bit of luck, you might see all the stars and everything. I've got some Coronation Street good. There's everything in there. There's your passes. Look at that. It says Coronation Street on that. What's in there? Sweet t shirt. And give my love to Vera Duckworth and uh -huh. Jack, will you?
tonight's moment of truth. But before we go, I would just like to thank everyone who's taken part in the show, especially our three fabulous families. Now, whether they've been winners or losers, I'm sure you'll all agree that they've all been stars tonight. Well done. <laughs> and giving them the chance to face the moment of truth. Engine, airbags, ABS, remote central locking, and lots more besides. And with this car, it all comes as standard. Or a fabulous family holiday of a lifetime for themselves and their partners, courtesy of Air Mauritius. Where could they be going this week, Steve? This week, the idyllic hotel resort of Latouz Rock on the east coast of Mauritius, where one of the leading hotels of the world has just reopened its doors. As well as all the facilities you'd expect from a top-class hotel, Latouz Rock boasts two private islands, a paradise where you can enjoy lunch on a deserted beach, the other dedicated to water sports, which are included in the prize for our family fortune hunters tonight. Let's meet tonight's families. And it's an all-lads team that we meet, first of all. We meet the Hallam family. Hiya, Travis Hallam. All right, Les. That's yep. an unusual name, Travis. Yeah, Fred, so... Where have you come from? I come from Sheffield, Les. Sheffield. Introduce us to the family. OK, I've got my three brothers and my dad. This is Tim. Hi, Tim. Hello, Les. This is Nick. Hi, Nick. Hi, Les. And the youngest troublemaker, that's Ben. Hi, Ben. Hello, Les. And that's my dad. Keep an eye on everybody. That's Dave. Hi, Dave. Hello, oh, Les. He's the troublemaker, is he? If you like, yeah. yeah. No, they're both <laughs> as bad as each other. They're both as bad as each other. Now, you're Sheffield United fans, big fans. Yeah, we've got season tickets and we go every week. Yeah. yeah. But um, I actually play for my local side on Sundays. Uh, that's the Hare and Hounds at Stannington. And right. Uh, captain says I can have a tenner, so I'm in the money already if I'm <laughs> giving my mentions. So, really? Yeah, can you so, give my mentions? So I've got, I've got ten pounds before I start. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's cut out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> All right, that's the Hallams. Let's go over and meet the Hardings. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Hi, Les. Where have you brought the Hardings from? We've come from Warrington. Come from Warrington, yes. which is near Liverpool, but I detect a Liverpool accent well, there. You do, yeah. We are originally from Liverpool. Right. But now we live in Warrington. You see well, that straight away? I can't help it. As soon as I hear a Liverpool accent, I went, Nice. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lisa. <laughs> Introduce us to the girls. All like... right, la. Well, um, <laughs> this is my sister Joanne. Oh, Joanne. This is our Joanne. Oh, Joanne. Hi, this Joanne. Is Mrs... Hi, Les. Hi, This is my sister, our Julie. Our oh, Julie. Hi, our Julie. Hi, our Les. <laughs> this is our Paula, my sister. Hi, our Paula. Hi, our Les. <laughs> And that's our Pat, my mum. <laughs> Hi, our Pat. Hi, Les. I've got an auntie Pat, so I can say our Pat, because yeah, I know our Pat. Yeah. And yeah. now then, you live in Leeds now, I though, do, don't you? I do, yeah. yeah. I live in Leeds, I work in Leeds, I work in a jewellers, little independent jewellers. Right. And there's a bit of a funny story, actually, because... Is there? Well, there's five girls that work in the shop. Right. And out of the five, there's three of us pregnant. Do you, you got pregnant? Do at the same time. And right. The manager walking now with the big grin on his face. <laughs> Is he? Yeah. And isn't there and a then, chair that people come and visit? They're all now. queuing up. Like, all the women. I yeah. want jewellery. They want to sit on this chair that we're all pregnant on. <laughs> but yeah. what you've got to realise, it's eternity rings you sell, not a maternity ring. Yeah, but that's the little ploy you see because now, apparently, instead of eternity rings after 25 years married, everyone's having babies within 12 months and they're all getting maternity rings now. So it's good for business. Good as well. for Business, yeah. okay. That's the families. We hope that you're ready to play at home as we play Family Fortunes. <laughs> Lisa, meet Travis. Yes. Top six answers. We asked 100 people to name something people turn on in the morning. <laughs> Travis. Radio. Turn on the radio. It's the top answer. Well played. What do you want? Yeah, okay. Play, rejoin your family. No conferring. What do you listen to on the radio then, Travis? Who do you like to listen to? Uh, radio One. Radio One? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Hiya, Tim. <laughs> Hello, Les. How are you doing? All right, thanks. You took violin lessons when you were younger, didn't you? That's right, Les. So I don't listen to Radio One much. It's more the classical scene for me. <laughs> oh, yeah? You're more for the classical scene. <laughs> That's right, yes. <laughs> OK, Tim, what do you think? Uh, your bath, Les. You turn on your bath. <laughs> Shower or tap is answer number three. And we have a prize for you, Tim. Steve, what have we got? Yes, from Mozart to Madonna, you can hear the lot on this CD hi-fi system. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. Can 
Yes, brilliant. Tune in to Classic, Classic FM. Definitely, definitely. All right, Nick. The light. Turn on the light. Is answer number six. Well played. I'm never up that early that they need to turn on a light. Hiya, Ben. Hiya, Les. You're all right. You're all right. So you're the troublemaker. That's what they say. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you've been having a recurring dream lately. A bit. You've been a bit anxious about something. When I found out that we're going on uh, Family Fortunes, yeah. uh, I've started to have this recurring dream. Right. Every night, in fact. What happens in the dream? Well, me and another family member, it's... Uh, me and another family member, we're playing the uh, big money at the end. Right, down here. Down there with you, Les. Right. And I've got my uh, arm round you. You're right. willing me to win. Right. And then at that stage, my trousers fall down <laughs> for the whole of the nation to see. And then at that moment, I wake up, thankfully. <laughs> yeah, you wake up just as the... Just, just at that moment. I hope you play but big money tonight. For my <laughs> sake and yours. Because <laughs> I can't wait for that. <laughs> Tell me about it. All right, Ben, what do you think? TV. TV, turn on the telly. <laughs> yes! There you go, you're doing well at the game so far, you've got a prize, Steve. Well, try not to drink it all in one go, you've won this year's supply of beer. <laughs> all right. Fantastic, fantastic. How's okay. that, that, mate? All right. Brilliant. Brilliant, OK. Hiya, David. Hello, Liz. You're into Crown Green Bowling, aren't you, in a big way? <laughs> I, I do play, yeah. yeah. You're a bit yeah. modest about this, cos well, your team's pretty handy, aren't they? We're, uh, I've, I'm fortunate that I play for a very good team. It's Millhouse's Park Bowling Club, and we are the tops. Yeah? Yeah. We've actually won the British Championship six times. Fantastic. Well yeah, done. Yeah. OK, Dave, what yeah. do you think? I think uh, the toaster. The toaster? Turn on the toaster. <laughs> good thinking. Not there. Travis? Uh, kettle, Les. Turn on the kettle. Yes, it's answer number two. One answer missing. Tim, can you find it? You turn on your car to go to work. OK, you turn on your car to go to work. <coughs> two lives have gone. Nick, you've got to go very carefully. Their partner. <laughs> she doesn't know what she's missing. <laughs> Actually, hang on a minute. There's two ways you could take that. It could be kind of turn on or turn on. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Turn on. Yeah. Turn on. Okay, we're looking for turn on your partner. Yeah. Well done! Yeah. Yeah. You win the money! You win the £99 in the bank and there's nothing else to review, so let's play on round two. <laughs> John and Tim. Okay. Top five answers. We asked 100 people to name something associated with Halloween. <laughs> Joanne. Skeleton. A skeleton. <laughs> no. Joanne, it isn't there. Tim? A pumpkin, Les. Let's have a look for a pumpkin. Yes, well played. Yeah, yeah. Answer number two. Yeah. Play, rejoin. The girls think of some answers. Nick? A witch. A witch. Let's have a look for a witch. <laughs> yes, it's a top answer. Well played. Yeah. You get a prize as well, Steve. What have we got? Yes, it's a lot more than just a box in the corner. Yes. It's a remote control 25-inch colour television. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. Thank you. Ben, what do you think? I want to say uh, trick or treat. Did you do that? Uh, I've grown out of it now. Grown out of it. <laughs> Last week. Last week. <laughs> <laughs> trick Cheers. or treat. Yes, yeah. it's answer number three. Well played. Dave. A broomstick. A broomstick. The witch's broomstick. <coughs> no, so we lose a life on that. Two answers to find. Travis. Uh, masks. Masks. Party masks. <coughs> Two lives have gone. So, Tim, got to go carefully. Fancy dress. All right, let's have a look for fancy dress. <coughs> so, the girls get a chance to steal. Pat? Um, ghosts. Ghosts, Paula? Black hat. A black hat? Parties. Parties? Bat. Bat. And a Lisa. black cat. And a black cat. So yes. we've got a black hat and a black cat. Which mm. one are you going to go for? We're going to go for black cat. OK, if a black cat is associated and is one of the two missing answers, you have the money in the bank. If not, once again, the Hallams have the money. We're looking for a black cat. No. I mean, they're all good answers, folks. Yeah. Missing answers number five is apples. apples. Duck apple, of course. Answer number four is ghosts. ghosts. Yeah. Somebody was going to say it, but they didn't. So let's play round three. Hi, Nick. Julie and Nick. Top six answers. Apart from where there's a will, name a well-known proverb. Where there's a will, there's a way. You know that one? Yeah. Um, Julie? Too many cooks spoil the broth. 
too many cooks on daytime TV is what you mean, I think. <laughs> too many cooks spoil the broth. Yes, is answer number three. Nick. Um, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Yes, you have control. Pass, what are you going to do? Pass, 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 pass. Pass it over. OK. It seems like this one is quite difficult. So we come to you, Paula. You work for BT, don't you? I do. No conferring girls, remember? You're family and friends, aren't you, Paula? I am. What do you think, then? Friends. A well-known proverb. Anything? Um, do you know any? There's a few of them. No? Um, no. We sorry. lose a life. Because <coughs> there's no answer. Hiya, Pat. Hi, Les. Pat, what do you think? Apart from where there's a will... Uh, a famous proverb. A stitch in time saves nine. A stitch in time saves nine. <laughs> it's the top answer, Pat. Well played. What have you got, Steve? And it's time for a new tiara. You're off to the Birmingham Jewellery Quarter to spend this voucher to the value of £500. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good? Yeah, yeah. Well Thanks done. Lisa? A rolling stone gathers... Is it no moss? <laughs> gathers moss? No. A rolling stone gathers no moss. Let's have a look for a rolling stone gathers no moss. Yes, it's answer number four. <laughs> Joanne, you like to do a bit of decorating, don't you? I do less. Yeah? Are you good at it? No, not very. <laughs> <laughs> what? I've, uh, well, we recently sort of was decorating the bathroom. Yeah. And I've changed it six times in a month. Changed it six times yeah. in a month? Every colour I've gone for just didn't like it at all. And so, you know, the bathrooms was a sort of 1.12 foot, which it shrunk to four foot. I put that much paint on it. <laughs> so, no, I'm not very good. What do you think? A well known proverb? I can't think of any. Nothing at all? No, I'm sorry. Well, there goes the second life. <coughs> so, we've got to go carefully now. Because as yet, you have no money. Hiya, Julie. Hello there. What happened? Hello there. <laughs> OK. She went very posh on me then. Hello there. I live down south now, Les. You, know? you live down south, do you? <laughs> and you went to the supermarket. What happened in the supermarket? Um, this guy followed me round. You know, as you do. I was doing my shopping, and some guy kept looking at me that and meeting me down all these aisles. And I thought, it's a bit weird, like. Um, and every aisle I went down, he'd be there. And I just wanted to buy some Coke and chocolate, as girls do. You know, go out and watch a few videos and stuff. Right. They kept following me. So we had to buy, like, bottled water and piles of fruit and that and put it in my, po in my um, basket. And I was oh, it. In your pocket, you know. <laughs> 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 oh, you know what I mean, in the, bas in the basket. In the basket. In the basket, yeah. yeah. And then when I got... Slip of the tongue, it was just a slip of the tongue. <laughs> yeah, a lot, got, of people like... meet, a lot of people meet in supermarkets now. It's like a big singles thing, isn't it? Thursday mm. nights or something, singles Well, night. I'd rather be single and go out with them. It was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I only brought the Mars bars anyway. You know All right, what I mean? okay. Face and... What do you think? Um, many hands make light work. Many hands make light work. <laughs> yes, well played. We get a prize as well, Steve. Yes, a health spa two-day break for two, located in a stately home at Horcross in the heart of rural Staffordshire. How's that? <laughs> yeah. You'll get mineral water and fruit there for you. Piece of lettuce, lovely. Piece of lettuce. No, it's, it's, they give you more than that. Paula, how are you doing? Oh, OK. What do you think? <laughs> you got an answer for it for me this time? Um. Paula? No, sorry. No. <coughs> so, all three lives have gone. The Hallams, have you come up with any answers, Dave? One or two. Don't cry over spilt milk. Don't cry over spilt milk. It's nice to be important. It's more important to be nice. Nice to be important, important but, but it's, it's more important, important to be, to be nice. nice. Nice one, Ben. Uh, grass Nick. is always greener on the other side. The grass is always greener on the other side. Tim? More haste, less speed. More haste, less speed. Travis, a few there. Have you got one of your own? Uh, I've got one of my own. It's uh, an Englishman's... Uh, home is his bouncy castle. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to go with? Uh, we're going to go for uh, Don't Cry Over Spilt Milk. Don't Cry Over Spilt Milk. <coughs> no, it isn't the one there. So, the Hardys get the £91 at last. Answer number five is <laughs> Look Before You Leap. Right, at the halfway stage, the Hallams have £190, the Hardings have £91. Now it's time for our viewers' question. A chance for you at home to play along and win £1,000. I ask you a question, three answers are revealed on the board. You have to decide which is the top answer. The question is, name something people press. Is it A, a doorbell, B, clothes, or C, flowers? Is it doorbell, clothes, or flowers? If you think you know, call us on 0894 33 43 53. Lines close at midnight on Thursday and calls will cost you 50p. It's your chance to win £1,000. Join us in a couple of minutes when we'll be playing Double Money and Big Money.
not so dirty then now, eh? I've started using this new Radox Everfresh. Never gets messy, always fresh, and leaves your skin feeling moisturised. And it floats. So you never lose it. Well, it's about time I made a fresh start. New Radox Everfresh Bath Wash. It's fresh every time. Life after sun. No problem. Isn't it funny how you always run out of something just when you need it most? That's why Asda's come up with over a hundred big saver packs. From washing powder to groceries. And the best of British fresh food. Asda Big Savers. The biggest packs at permanently low prices forever. That's Asda Price. I was halfway through my milk round when hunger caught up with me. You see, I'd forgotten my shreddies. Ha <laughs> ha! Hunger! Strikes! After all, it's shreddies with their layer upon layer of crunchy whole wheat and great taste that keep hunger locked up till lunch. So, if you want hunger away from your door, shreddies and frosted shreddies keep hunger locked up till lunch. Princess Diana is under fire. Now the Sunday Mirror reveals the true story Diana wanted the world to know. Diana, The Secret Years, only in tomorrow's Sunday Mirror. These days, you don't have to take pills to fight pain. The fact is, I believe is the best-selling topical painkiller for backache, rheumatic and common arthritic conditions. Why? Well, it could be because for pain relief without pills, nothing is more powerful, more effective, or works for more people than I believe. Available only from pharmacies, I believe gel, spray, and new I believe mousse. I believe means pain relief without pills. Otex Eardrops disperse earwax and can avoid syringing. Ask your pharmacist for the UK's number one selling eardrops, Otex. Okay, Sam, let's have a little look. Good grief. What's going on in there? It's all those books he's been reading. At Smith's, we've taken up to 40% off our favourite kids' books to get their imagination going. All right, Sasha, you're next. You won't find anything in there. Whatever you're into, get into W.H. Smith. Welcome back. Remember, the number to call us on is 0894-3343-53 for your chance to win £1,000 in our cash draw. Right now, though, we're going to play Double Money. OK, Paul, I meet Ben. Hi, Hello, Ben. You're all right. right, top five answers. We asked 100 people to name something associated with Rowan Atkinson. Ben. Blackadder. Blackadder is the second most popular. Paula. Mr Bean. Mr Bean. Top answer, what do you want to do? <laughs> Play, rejoin, no conferring. What do, you th what do you think, Pat? Do you know anything about Rowan Atkinson? Um, is in that, that laughing one. <laughs> The laughing one. Is it Rowan and Martin? I think they're the wrong one. Rowan and Martin was laughing. laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Rowan and Martin's laughing. <laughs> we lose a life Can't on it. See that. Lisa. Uh, the thin blue line, Les. The thin blue line, Lisa. Let's have a look for the thin blue line. <laughs> so we lose a life on it and the Hallams might steal. Joanne. Um, Mr Bean in America is Lisa's film. That Mr done. Bean in America. So three oh. lives have gone. The Hallams get a chance to steal. There are three answers to find. Dave. Baldrick. Baldrick. Children in need. Children in need. Not the nine o'clock news. Not the nine o'clock news. Yes, of course, he, was, he started out on that. Tim. His fine work for charity. His fine work for charity. Travis. Um, just general comedy, but I think we're going to go with uh, not the nine o'clock news. To go through to big money, not the nine o'clock news. <laughs> it's not the nine o'clock news. It's amazing. That proved to be difficult for everybody. Let's have a look. Answer number five. 
comedy. comedy. Answer number four is the police inspector, yeah, yeah. Inspector Fowler. We needed you to be yeah. specific on that. And answer number three on something associated with Rowan Atkinson is... The bank oh, card. The bank so many, there could have been Baldrick, the, yeah. the yellow yeah. mini, but yeah. you don't know. That's what the, uh, the 100 people surveyed said. So let's play on round two. <laughs> Pat and Dave. Okay, Dave. Okay, top four answers. Name something that people dislike about camping. Pat. You get wet a lot. The weather. <laughs> it's the top one. What are you going to do? Yeah. Play rejoin, no conferring. So, what do you think, Lisa? Putting the tent up. Putting the tent up. Yes. <laughs> Joanne. Uh, cooking on the, the little camping thing that they have. The cooking stove. on a little camping stove. You yeah. don't like that. Okay, yeah. let's see. Cook, cooking on a little camping stove. <laughs> no. Julie. The hard ground, Les. The hard ground. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> hard Bye. ground. <laughs> Two lives gone already, Paula. Lack of facilities. Lack of facilities generally. Lack of facilities. <coughs> Three lives <laughs> gone. So, the Hallam's back in line. It all depends on this. Who's going through to big money? Dave? The tent falling down. The tent falling down? Creepy crawlies. Creepy crawlies. Farm animals. Farm animals. Rubbish cooking. Rubbish cooking, Travis? Um, can't think of one I found. What we're going for? Insects. Yeah. yeah. Creepy, creepy crawlies, insects, yeah. insects. If it is one of the two missing answers, then you're playing big money. If not, it's the Harding girls. We're looking for creepy crawlies. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well played. You played big money. Yeah. That was hard luck. A very close yeah. contest. Yeah. You did well though. You've got a jewellery voucher, a country break, yeah, and really. £223. Yeah, pounds. Have you enjoyed your day? Yeah. 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 The missing Thank answer you. number three before you go is. Toilets or lack of them or whatever. Yeah. Okay, the Harding Thanks family. So good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Well done, Travis. Thanks, Is it the car or the Air Mauritius holiday you're going for? Going for the car. You go for the car. Who's yeah. going to play? Uh, myself and Ben. Okay, Travis and Ben, join me at the mic, please. <laughs> Travis is going to play first. Ben, don't put the headset on and we'll call you back when we're ready for you. I'm going to ask you five questions. You have 15 seconds to answer and the time doesn't begin until I finish asking the first question. Is that clear? That's clear. Good luck. Can I have 15 seconds on the clock, please? <phone rings> Name an occasion when people wear formal clothing. Weddings. Something a mechanic checks on your car. Oil. A kind of pill. Uh, the pill, contraceptive pill. A sport that involves flying. Uh, hand gliding. Something you would find in the yellow pages. Plumbers. All right, well played, Travis. Very quickly answered. 200 points between the two of you will get the £5,000. And on top of that, if you find the uh, top answers between you, you'll get the car. But you can't get the car without totalling 200 points. First question. Name an occasion when people wear formal clothing. You said... Weddings, our survey said... <laughs> top answer. Something a mechanic checks on your car. You said... Oil, our survey said... Top answer. We're going well. 60 points. A kind of pill, you said. Contraceptive, our survey said. Yes. Top answer. We're going well. A sport that involves flying, you said. Hang gliding, our survey said. Yes. You can do it on your own, mate. Come on. Finally, something you would find in the yellow pages, you said. Plumbers, our survey said. 11 people said plumbers, but we've got four top answers, OK? We need 67. Rejoin your family. We'll clear the board and we'll bring Ben back. <laughs> Welcome back, Ben. Travis has scored 133 points and found four top answers, which is brilliant going, OK? You need to find 67 points, and if you get those 67 points, you get the £5,000. For the car, though, we need that extra top answer. 20 seconds. If you duplicate any of the answers, you'll hear the sound and I'll ask you for another. Can we remind the viewers at home of the answers we've had? And can I have 20 seconds on the clock, please? Good luck. We want you to do it. <phone rings> Name an occasion when people wear formal clothing. Wedding. Another. Funeral. Something a mechanic, a mechanic checks on your car. Oil. Another. Uh, lights. A kind of pill. Uh, aspirin. A, a sport that involves flying. Um, Kite flying. Something you would find in the yellow pages. Uh, garage. Oh, did you get it in just on time? Let's see. Let's see if you did. Garage, that was your 
answer. I think it just might have come in just at the end of the buzzer. Don't worry. Let's see. An occasion, as we can see, that's where we need a top answer. An occasion when people wear formal clothing. You said... That's it, put your arm around me. You said... <laughs> relax. You said funeral. Our survey said... 21! <laughs> right, we only need 46. So we're well online for the money. We just need to know if that last answer is there for us. Something a mechanic checks on your car, you said. You said... Lights, our survey said... <laughs> Nothing for lights, so we still need 46. A kind of pill, you said. Aspirin, our survey said. 20, we need 26. We still have two answers. Stop shaking your head, 174. Right, a sport that involves flying, be positive. You said, flying a kite. Our survey said. 10 people said kite flying. We need 16 from this last answer. Did you give it to me in time? Something you would find in the yellow pages. You said? Garage, it needs to flash for the car. <laughs> you know, don't listen, you give me it. It needs to flash for the car, but if you get the 16, you have the 5,000. You said garages, our survey said, please flash. <laughs> oh, hard luck. Hard luck, I thought we might have got the, the money. The top answer was numbers. Phone numbers, it was the numbers worth 34 and would have put you way through and would have given you the £5,000 and the car. But look, hard luck, we've got 188, we're going to double that. We add it to the money you've already got, which gives you a Hallam family fortune of 680 plus the prizes you've already got. Hard luck, hard luck, Ben. Come and join us. That was so, so unlucky. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye. It's all about... We met about my...